Hey everybody! Alright, so I am 38 weeks and one day pregnant. I'm updating. I had my doctor's appointment today, and you guys, oh my goodness, I got totally, like, blindsided at my doctor's appointment today. So, I go in there, and, um, I, <laughs> I go to check in, and, uh, they, they tell me that my doctor delivered a baby or whatever and I'm like okay and they're like so you're gonna have to see another doctor so I was kind of like oh, I don't want to see another doctor because we're trying to discuss important medical stuff but I completely understand you know I was just kind of like sad about the situation but you know what, what can you do no big deal so um, I just hope that this other doctor is up to date on my situation so this nurse that's not my normal nurse um, at my doctor's office you have a nurse that's your nurse along with your doctor so um, I had a different nurse so I had the nurse for that doctor so she came and she's like really frazzled really nice but like just like running a mile a minute and she's doing everything different than what I how I normally have things done and that's okay but I was just kind of like like um, didn't I was completely uh, <laughs> like just like what's going on so I was just very not sure of what to do like the order of how we normally do things is different and like I said not not a bad thing I was just kind of like ah okay so um I go leave my urine sample and get weighed and all that stuff so she she weighs me and I haven't gained any weight from last week which is awesome and then she takes my blood pressure and it was very good um, my top number was 118 which is a little high for me but gr fine that's normal when you're this pregnant and my bottom number was only like 62 it was really low um, so anyway but my blood pressure is normally low anyway like that's normal for me so whatever so she was like well that's good and then um, she wait like uh, let's see what else oh and then she's looking at her little like computer that the at my doctor's office they all carry around little they don't do anything on paper everything's on computer so they all have these little like medical laptops that they carry around and she's looking at it, and she's like, all right, so we we have you scheduled for your induction on the 7th. And I, and I literally went, whoa, 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 no. Just like that. Like, that's exactly how I said it. And she was like, what? And I was like, no, I'm not scheduled to be induced on the 7th. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I said it really nice because it's not her fault. And she was like, oh, you're not? And I was like, no. I was like, we talked about maybe doing induction this week if my blood pressure was high or there was protein in my urine, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, but that was it. We just discussed it. And she was like, oh, okay, no big deal. You can talk about it to the doctor. And I was like, okay. So then I'm like, I'm like kind of weirded out by that. Um, and then I, so I go into this, this doctor's office, um, this little waiting, you know, my little room. And, and uh, normally my nurse takes the baby's heart, checks the heart, baby's heart rate. Um, so I like get on the table and I'm like all ready for this nurse to check the heart rate. And she's like, all right, strip down from the, you know, strip down from the chest down and put this towel, you know, thing around you and the doctor will be right in. And I was like, oh, okay. So I guess she, this nurse does not check the heartbeat. And I was just like, well, whatever. So, um, I did that and I'm sitting there waiting and the doctor comes in and she, um, she's really nice. And she's like, yeah, so your doctor had her baby this morning. And I was like, what? My doctor had a baby? Like, what are you, What? Yeah, I didn't know my doctor was having a baby. I was completely shocked. I was like, I knew she was expecting, but you guys, that she was tiny. And yeah, they were scrubs, but like, I did not, what? She had a baby this morning? Like, she had a baby this morning? I was kind of like, congratulations. But at the same time, selfishly, I was like, my doctor, the doctor that I love, that delivered Sophia, that has, like, been with me through medical stuff, that's, like, supported my decisions when I want to wait on things. My doctor is indisposed. So I was, like, my mind was just going crazy. I was just kind of, I, I can't tell you guys how I felt. I was, like, okay, well, how is she? And they were, like, she's doing great. And the baby's, her baby's good. She had a boy and lots of hair. And I was, like, yay. What? I was blindsided. I did not know she was that pregnant. She did not look that pregnant. I never asked her when she was due specifically, but what? Like, if you would what? I, I couldn't have been more shocked if you had told me Kyle had had a baby this morning. <laughs> like, I was so 
so shocked. Okay, so so then my head is like reeling from all of this information that was just shoved at me, like right then. And I was like, that's no one's fault. And 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 you know, it's just. And so then, so then I'm like, okay, well, back to us. And I tell this doctor, I'm like, yeah, so they apparently scheduled me to be induced. But I was like, but that was not aware of that. And she's like, oh, you weren't? I was like, no. I was like, my doctor and I discussed that I may be induced this week if I had, you know, weird levels. And she was like, oh, and she was like, oh, okay, well, what she probably, what Dr. Schmidt probably, my normal doctor, what she probably did was um, went ahead and put you on the books just to make sure you had a spot, but you can cancel. It's no big deal. And I was like, okay. So that made me feel better. And then she looked at me. She's like, are you against induction? Do you don't want to be induced? And I was like, it's like, I'm not against induction. I was like, I just want there to be a medical reason. And she was like, okay, no problem. And I really did get a good vibe from this doctor. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I got a good vibe from this doctor. Cause if not, I would have been really freaking out, but she would look me right in the eyes. And she was like, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. We'll just do, you know, we'll do what makes you happy. And I was kind of like, okay, this doctor's pretty cool. You know, if my doctor gets, you know, <laughs> called away cause she had a baby that I was not aware of, then <laughs> at least I have the doctor who seems to like want to make me happy and not just do stuff. So then she checks my chart and she's like, okay, so you were a little bit more than one centimeter dilated last week. Let's check you now. Oh, she takes the baby's heart rate and she's, she's putting the little probe on to listen to his heart rate. And she's like, okay, it sounds great. And as she's like listening, she's like feeling my stomach like a lot. And, and like, I just see the look on her face and she's just like feeling and she keeps like pushing around and like feeling his location and everything. And she was like, he's a big baby. And I was like, I, yeah, I know. I keep hearing that he's a big baby. And she's just like, you know, that's a really big baby. And I was like, yeah, I know, I get it. It's a big baby. Um, and so she's just like, wow, you know. She's like, well, um, she's like, you know, you can go ahead and be induced if you want because he's so big. You know, she's like, and, and I was kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. And so I let her check me. And I'm um, dilated to a two, more than two, she said. She said a little bit more than two, not three but two plus, so that's awesome. So I'm not dilated that much, but I did dilate, it was a whole centimeter since my last appointment, so that's something, you know. Um, she actually said the baby didn't feel quite as low as, as according to my, my chart from my doctor as he was last week, but I think that was the position because um, she was checking me like in a different way than Dr. Schmidt checks me, so there's a bit of like you know, it's, it's subject to a bit of what the person, how they, and you know, perceive what you're at. So I didn't really take that hard. She was like, he's still low, but just, she's like, oh, he doesn't seem as low as your chart indicates. Um, and I don't even know how faced I was, which I'm so mad because I, I just had so much, so much going through my head. I just wasn't asking everything I wanted to ask. Um, and what I should have done is right then and there, I should have been like, Okay, look, can you go help someone else for 10 minutes? Let me wrap my head around everything that has just been thrown at me and then come back. I should have done that because they would have, she was nice. She would have been like, sure, but I didn't. Um, I, I just needed a minute to think. Like, I couldn't think. I could not get my thoughts right. So then after she checked me, she's like, all right. She's like, she, and then I was like, well, you know, my blood pressure, all that's good. She's like, yeah. She's like, you're great. She's like, there's you know, just trace amounts of protein in your urine, which is normal. She's like, everything looks really good. She's like, you're really healthy, looking really healthy. So that made me so happy. I was like, well, that's good. I'm totally healthy, you guys. So last week she just suspects, she said I probably had extra protein in the urine from um, a very light bladder infection or, you know, which didn't I just say, like, I thought I might have one, <laughs> but apparently it's cleared up on its own. So that's good. Or those little cranberry capsules helped, um, I, I, I was kind of contracting some during the appointment and she noticed it too. She was like, you know, she's like, well, you're definitely cramp, you know, contracting up. Um, that's a good sign. Oh uh, yeah. And then she was like, well, do you want to be induced or do you not? She goes, and she was like, it's totally up to you. She's like, that's, you know, whatever. And I was just kind of like, well, I was like, not 
really? And she was like, well, what we can do is leave you on the books and you can think about it. She's like, if you're not sure, you can call us in the morning and we can cancel it. She's like, that's fine. She's like, we'll do whatever you want to do. She's like, it's, it's okay, you know. And then, and, but the reason for inducing would be because he's big, which I don't really think at this point, that's, I just don't, my, my heart tells me that's not a good reason for me at this point. If I was 41 weeks pregnant, I'd be like, this kid is huge, get him out. But I'm 38 weeks pregnant. And I know he's big. And I don't want my chance of a cesarean to increase because I have this huge baby. But at the same time, I've done enough research and I've, I've, I've seen enough things to know that, that the big baby excuse, it can be an excuse sometimes. So, and I, I definitely didn't necessarily get that vibe from this lady because she seemed totally fine with me saying no, too. Like, she didn't seem to care either way. She was like, you know, whatever you want to do. So, I just literally got my paperwork. I went ahead and went and scheduled my appointment, my normal my appointment for 39 weeks next week. And I just, like, got out of there. And I was just in shock. I just didn't know what to say. I just, like lost my doctor, didn't lose her, and it's, and obviously I'm very happy for her, but I, it was just really shocking. I think if I'd been prepared that she was going to have the baby, I wouldn't be so shocked, but I did not think that this was going to happen at all. So I just, you guys know how I really like my doctor. And like I said, the, the positive side is that this new doctor I got was super nice, really listened to me, like, Ask, actually ask me how I felt about things um, and was just very open to me making the decision. Um, so that's great. I mean, you know, thank the Lord because I think that, that if I had had some crazy doctor or so, I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have just walked out of there and been like, find me somebody else. But luck, maybe, you know, and Dr. Schmidt might have, um, I'm sorry, but my doctor might have, um, of, um, even recommended this woman because she's kind of like her. I don't know. I don't know if I just got assigned to her or what, but regardless, I liked her. So that was good. And she had a very gentle touch and, um, and not just when she was doing the exam down below, but when she was handling my stomach and when she was, you know, handling me. And it's just kind of hard because, you know, Dr. Schmidt, my doctor knows me and she knows that, like, my attitude about things. And this lady just, that's, that's what's hard, is just she doesn't know me. I didn't want her to think that, I, I just want her, I don't want her to think that I'm one of those moms that refuses to do anything medical, no matter what. But I also don't want her to think I'm one of those moms that just wants everything done and scheduled. Because I'm not. I'm very in between, you know. I'm not one way or the other. And, and, doc, and you know, my doctor knows that. My doctor knows that I'll, you know, make a decision based on, what I feel is right and not just based on what I think, you know, should be done and da 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 and, and this, you know, I just, I wanted this doctor to know that about me too and how can you in like 20, you know, 15 minute appointment. But, but I liked her. If, if I have to, you know, if, if I can't have my doctor and I had to switch doctors, this lady gave me a really good vibe. So that was good. Even her comment about the baby being big while like shocking to me, like while I was kind of like, yeah, I know. Even that wasn't, I made it sound like it was really bad. It really wasn't. She was just kind of like, wow, um, I'm not measuring big. I asked her, I was like, how far ahead am I measuring? And she was like, you're not, you're not measuring ahead at all. But she said it's because the, the baby's low. It's not an accurate estimate. And um, like I said, I should have just uh, been like, can you give me a minute? Come back. Let me collect my thoughts. I wish I'd done that. But you know how it is when you're just in a situation where you're kind of like blindsided and you don't think straight, so, so yeah, so that's what happened, you guys, <laughs> so yeah, the, okay, so let's, let's, let's recap, let's do the good thing, I am healthy, baby seems healthy, he's really big, don't know how big, but he's big, um, and I can choose to be induced, but I'm, choosing at the moment no. I'm just gonna say no tomorrow um, and go to my appointment next week and see what happened. And um, I wish I knew how a face I was because I just like knowing that but I don't. 
But hey, I'm, I'm over two centimeters dilated, so that's my body did do stuff this week. All those Braxton Hicks were, they, you know, dilated me a centimeter, so hey, that's, I'll take it. So there we go. So that's my update for today. <laughs> that was my doctor's appointment, the craziness. But okay, let's just be happy that I'm healthy and the baby's healthy, and you know, um, we'll see. We'll see if I make it. Maybe I won't even make it to next week and it won't matter. But, um, regardless, <laughs> my appointment next week, I'm going to be like, go in there prepared and be done being shell-shocked and talk to that woman. <laughs> talk to the doctor there and be like, okay, I was totally scatterbrained last week. Let's talk. Because that, that was the one thing that was really good. She definitely seems like a sensitive person, the type of person who will definitely let you kind of use them as a shoulder to lean on and not just be the doctor and so that that's really good um, I'm very grateful for that <laughs> how crazy is this though guys how crazy did all that happen like I said if I'd known my doctor was going to have the baby if I knew uh, known it was that imminent I wouldn't be so surprised I'd probably be sad and hope that she'd make it for my birth but I'd understand but this just like took oh what the heck so yeah <laughs> All right, so that's the craziness. So um, I'm in my room. I'm doing laundry, as you can see on the bed. I'm going to go finish all that laundry. And the other good news is that today, just in case something happened, I cleaned, like, the house. Like, I cleaned our toilet today. I <laughs> mopped the tile in the bathroom floor. I cleaned my kitchen. I got all the laundry done, except for what I'm folding right there. So that is really good. Like... <laughs> Now I just need to keep the house in this state of, like, fairly clean until the baby comes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now I'm starting to, like, oh, well, what can you do? You know, I'm glad that if I was a different person, I would be freaking out way more right now. So I think I'm handling it pretty well. Kind of shocked, but dealing with it. Okay, so that was 17 minutes of me talking about that. But that was the craziness. So, if you have vaginally delivered a big baby, tell me your experience. And be gentle. I don't, you know, I mean, I'm about to have to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> keep your horror stories to a minimum and just <laughs> cheer me on. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will talk to everybody tomorrow for my update then. Um, don't forget, follow... Facebook, Twitter, you know, our webpage, all that stuff for instant updates. And once again, I know on my Facebook, I saw people making comments about, we haven't heard anything, maybe you're at the hospital. If you don't hear anything, nothing is going on. No news is no news. Anything happens, I will update from my phone then. So if there's, n if you don't see anything, because nothing's going on. <laughs> Nothing exciting. So <laughs> don't worry, no news with me is actually no news. I know some people, like, disappear when they have the baby. I'm not going to do that. I will update because I've got too much family and everybody else who wants to know. So, and I want to keep them updated that way. All right. I love you guys. I'm glad I have someone to vent to about this. <laughs> now, I'm like, seriously, now it's becoming funny. It's just like, really? Like, <laughs> okay. All right. So, it looks like I'm going to make it to that Wiggles concert because let me tell you guys, today... I had Braxton Hicks, but very few, not that many. Felt great today, just like yesterday. Feeling good, you know, so maybe I'll make it to that Wiggles concert on Saturday. Maybe I won't. I can kind of hope that I don't. The baby just decides to come on out, which would be awesome. And then it takes away any decision I ever have to make. So, <laughs> okay, that's it. Super crazy long update. Bye, you guys.